Hello, I wanted to talk about a couple concepts that you often hear today. One of them is learning to love yourself. The idea that you need to learn to love yourself and how to do that. Also, I want to talk about the concept of boundaries that is a term used quite often. Learning to love yourself has a lot of psychobabble connected to that. It doesn't mean a lot to people in a very specific way. It's very vague. It's like, hi, I love you, Dan. I'm so in love with you. Let's go make love. I mean, what does it really mean? Well, to love yourself to me, one of the major steps or ideas is that you respect and you validate your own emotions. However you feel emotionally has got to be a fact for you. You don't debate its validity. Because if you don't listen to how you feel, then you're going to get into situations and in relationships with people who won't respect and validate your emotions as well. So when you love yourself, you care about how you feel. And if you live with somebody else, they will do the same. Because if they don't, you're not going to want to hang out with them. You, you do not want to enjoy their company because they're always discounting your emotions. And think about it. If you love somebody else, would you want them to do something that emotionally doesn't work for them? Probably not. You'd say, honey, hey, if you're not into that, don't do it. I'd like you to, but if you're not, don't. But if you want to manipulate, control, dominate, use somebody, you're not really going to care about how they feel. You just want them to do it, and you're going to push and push until you get it. And yeah, you'll get, you'll get what you want that way maybe, but in the end, you'll lose the relationship because that person's going to resent you a whole lot. Now, the idea of setting boundaries has to do with drawing a line, a psychological line. It's just like countries have boundaries, right? And if countries don't respect their boundaries, typically they end up in a war. So in relationships, respecting someone's boundaries it creates a harmony and peace that's true. How do you set a boundary? What does that mean? Well, basically it comes down to two emotions. And I'll try to make this simple. You're comfortable or uncomfortable. If you love yourself, you don't go into doing things that you're not emotionally comfortable with. That's how you draw a line. You learn to say, no, I'm not comfortable with that. And if somebody loves you, they would respect that. But again, if they want to control you, they're not. You know, if I tell my teenage daughter I'm not comfortable with that, that's what that's something they got to respect. And you can yell and argue and debate, but that's where the line is. So boundaries means putting yourself in the situations that you're only comfortable doing and you're okay with it. That way you won't resent it. How many people walk down the aisle getting married and tell me, you know, I really wasn't comfortable doing it, but I did it anyway. I did it because it was just easier. And of course, after the fact, now they regret it. So when you listen to your emotions, you're loving yourself, you're caring about yourself. And when you set boundaries, it's the same thing. You're taking care of yourself and drawing that line between you and another person, which is critical in terms of forming intimate relationships. It's just, it's essential. Otherwise, a relationship becomes a prison psychologically. So take care of yourself. Love yourself. We'll see you next time. Thanks.